Why, hello there. I'm Alex Udris from Bold Method. And I bet you're wondering, how does design maneuvering speed change with weight? Well, that's an outstanding question. And the FAA wants you to know it'll be on your written exam. But more importantly, understanding how VA changes with weight will help you stay alive when flying a maneuver. So first of all, you have to understand what VA does. And that's actually pretty simple. VA means, in general, you'll stall before you break. So let's say you're flying along in 1G flight and you begin to rip back on that control yoke all the way to the stop. Don't ask me why you would actually do this. What happens is relatively simple. As you pull back, your angle of attack increases. But if you started out at VA, right when you hit 3.8 Gs or your limit load factor, your aircraft will reach its critical angle of attack. You'll stall and those Gs will go back to normal 1G flight. Your airplane won't break. But there's one problem. Manufacturers certify design maneuvering speed at maximum gross weight. So what happens if you lose a few passengers and you're a little bit lighter? Great question. VA actually slows down. And this is a little bit counterintuitive. But think about this. Let's say you're still at that max gross weight VA speed and you lose some weight. Now you're flying at a lower angle of attack. So if you pull back on that yoke, you're gonna hit 3.8 Gs before you hit your critical angle of attack. And now you'll break before you stall. So it's really simple. Just remember, as you lose weight, you slow down VA. But how much should you slow down VA, you ask? And that's a great question. There's a simple formula. So what is that formula? Well, it's easy. You take your current weight divided by your maximum gross weight, you take the square root of that, you multiply it by your original max gross weight VA speed. So if your maximum gross weight is 2,400 pounds and you currently weigh 2,000 pounds and your original VA was 110 knots, your new VA at 2,000 pounds would be about 100.416 knots. But if you don't have someone amazing like Swain to hold a card to help you figure that out, you can always use your pilot's operating handbook. And if it's not in there, you can use your smartphone. Thank God for technology. So again, keep in mind, if you're not at max gross weight, your VA is going to slow down and you should compute it and know it before every flight. It's also helpful to know what VA really does, but we'll cover that in another video.